Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk. I'll be giving a talk on building a diverse and inclusive open source community. Thank you to the Linux Foundation for giving me this opportunity to virtually present my talk and also to um, give my talk at the Diversity Empowerment Summit. My name is Ruth Ikega and I am a community lead at Chaos Africa and I'm also a GitHub star and a technical writer. Before I go into the meat of my talk and you know tell you um, why this talk is important, I would love to um, share with you what diversity, equity, and inclusion means to me. DEI means to me, to me when I hear about DEI or when I am when I talk about DEI, it means that regardless of my differences and my experience that my perspective is being put into consideration my thoughts are being heard and my feedback is being implemented that i'm carried along in conversations where i do not know much about and that my i feel a sense of belonging in the community and why this talk is important is because Open source projects, as you know, are made up of people that come from diverse, different diverse backgrounds. And when people are from different diverse backgrounds, diversity, equity, and inclusion, centering diversity, equity, and inclusion, it's really important to your open source project and community. So in this talk, I'm going to um, be sharing, um, I, am, I am an active member of the Chaos Group. Don't worry, if you're just hearing about the Chaos Group, I'm definitely going to, um, to share more about um, the Chaos Project. I'm going to be sharing the diversity, equity, and inclusion um, working group metrics that we have you know, put together and our different focus areas. And I'll also be sharing the projects and the initiatives that you know, have come out of the DEI working group. So um, Chaos, the Chaos Project is a Linux Foundation project um, focused on open source community health. At Chaos, we develop metrics and software that you know, help define open source community health. And by measuring health, we are able to improve the transparency, you're able to improve the transparency of an open source project you know, to, to allow people, you know, allow stakeholders to make informed decisions about um, different issues as regards community health in your project. And we do this, um, we, we create metrics and software through working groups. And by working groups, um, you know, we come together um, on different areas as regards community health. Um, we have about five working groups, the diversity, equity, and inclusion working group, which of which I'm going to be sharing our metrics with you today. And we have the RICS working group, we have the value working group, we have the commons working group, and we have the metric models working group. If you want to know all about this working groups you can check out um chaos.community and you know know more about these different working groups but for today we're talking about dei so um at chaos these metrics that we create you know help us think about different complex issues that are related to open source project community health it helps us um you know analyze um, our efforts, analyze both a community's efforts to um, um, to DEI in, in this specific talk, uh, to DEI, and also to, you know, look at early indicators of things that, issues that we might be missing out, you know, these metrics help us inform, inform, inform us about how we think about these different issues. So um, the, the essence of this talk is to, you know, share with you the different, um, the way we look at um, DEI, at the chaos project. And, you know, we're sharing this with you. It will help you, you know, um, start up, either start up that conversation or even measure how DEI is improving in your open source community or even in your project. So in a couple of minutes, I'm going to be sharing how we look at um, metrics in the DEI, specifically in the DEI working group, and you know how these metrics you know can help you measure DEI in your own community. So in the diversity and equity and inclusion working group. So a typical working group session is we have meetings every every week, and you know on these meetings we create these metrics. Um, we, you know, we collaborate on the Google Doc, which is always very interesting to do. You know, we get together and we create this metric. But the important part I want to point out here is the different focus areas we look at. So um, generally in chaos, 
in these different working groups, we have different focus areas in which we create the metrics, in which we categorize and put in the metrics. For example, the first one, the focus area on event diversity. Our goal here is to uh, enable you like identify aspects of um diversity and inclusion at open source events so we have created like different metrics and when we create these metrics we pose a question out like for example the code of conduct at events which is a very important um part of having an event there should be a code of conduct right so we pose that question how does the code of conduct for events support how can you how does your code of conduct you know at your open source event support dei you know there are other metrics that are under this focus area and when we pose these questions this bring this enables us go into the conversation on how you can analyze how your code of conduct speaks to dei and if it's it is working if it is effective or if it needs improvement right there are other uh, metric examples here we do uh, metric releases every six months so if you go to the chaos.community um slash metrics um release you're going to see um the different pdfs and the, la the latest release of the different metrics we have so another focus area we look at is governance. You know, the same thing applies. How, um, you know, DEI and how how is your project governance inclusive? You know, the board, the board of directors or the council is there like, are you centering diversity in the board? You know, the code of conduct of the project. We also look at the focus area leadership, which is really very important. Is there inclusive leadership? Are people able to get mentorship um, in your project? You know, people that are for underrepresented groups or people that are of lesser experience, you know, when they come into your project, are they able to, you know, get a um, mentorship or people that are even from, you know, supporting, do you support sponsorship? Um, for underrepresented groups in your community. Another focus area we have is the project and community focus area. And this is where the heart of where like community engagement occurs. So we have different metrics that speak to this focus area. Now, um, I would, I wanted to give you like a, a, description or like how each metric looks like you can also go to the chaos.community slash metrics and click on these different metrics as well but i wanted to show you how um you know these metrics look like so um usually we have the question that's the first part of it the question where we talk about and this i highlighted this particular metric because it's really very important because anytime i um, go to open source project. I am an open source advocate as well. And I speak to a lot of beginners, um, you know, in my course of um, bringing people to contribute to open source. And, you know, the, the most important, the most, the biggest feedback I've gotten is as regards finding issues to work on. So beginners, um, say for example, beginners, when they get on open source projects, it's really hard to find issues that speak to their specific skill set or even speak to their, their, what they want to contribute to or you know they are if they are beginner if they are beginner friendly issues so this particular metric helps you analyze issue label inclusivity helps you you know think about how well um your issues are properly labeled to invite new contributors or even like skilled contributors or even non-code contributors and also other types of co contributions that are your open source project so we go for that to deeply describing what this metric is and the different objectives if you can see this um screenshot um you see that the different objectives as related to this metric you know new former friendliness is the issue are the issues um appropriately labeled you know there are different issues um that speak to new former friendliness like the the most popular label the good first issue for new contributors to start up in your project right is there mental availability you know for that particular issue and you know putting all these things out there you know helps you helps um the contributor narrow down how they want to contribute to that particular issue right um you know putting a usable title and description this is something that i see a lot where people just open issues and when you open the issue there's fix this and there's nowhere to go there's you know github has made it um very very um very good that you can even have issue templates in your open source project so definitely do make use of that if you're not using issue templates in your open source project so um these are the different objectives we look at and we also go further with um um 
you know, advising or even recommending ways that you can implement this issue. So part of this screenshot has been cut out because of space and to, to allow you to see it. But um, we also provide tools. We also have tools, um, software, like I said earlier in my talk, software that can help you analyze this metric, um, like the Grimoire Lab and um, Augur. So um, we, we share um, tools that, you know, can provide, um, analyze that metric for you in the different um metrics we create we also share um data collection strategies on how you will um identify different um different general labels inclusive labels and even skill related labels right and if you if you want to check out more of these issues uh, more of this um sorry more of this uh, metrics you can go to um chaos.community slash metrics and you get a list of all these different metrics now, um, another part of this talk is where I want to share with you how, you know, um, the Chaos um, DEI group, the project initiatives that have come out of the DEI working group, we do not just create metrics, right? We look for ways that we can apply these metrics, this um, DEI metrics we have created in practice. We look for ways that we can practicalize them, you know, to make a change, right? And this, some of these projects is the DEI budget initiative, which I am a huge part of and one of the maintainers of this initiative. And this, um, um, this um, DEI badging, um, the event, speaking to event badging, it's a peer review process where open source open source event applicants, um, open source events can apply to um, the Chaos DEI badging and receive a badge um, for their efforts on uh, fostering diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I'm happy to say that um, the OSS EU Summit um, has been one of the conferences we have been badging um, over two years now. And if you go to the, if you go to the website, the OSS EU website, and you check the diversity and equity and inclusion page you're going to see you're going to see the our shiny badge there so um shout out to the di badging team and all the awesome reviewers we have so um the process basically the process here at um the event badging is um an applicant submits um you know their 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 application and the application is made up of the different metrics this um, event badging has come out from the the different metrics that we have created in the dei badging initiative are the questions you know regards event diversity on that focus area event diversity those are the metrics event accessibility you know um code of conduct so we ask all these questions during the application process and the um, open source event applic um, applicant is able to put in those questions, answer those questions as regards demographic. And then when um, the application is being submitted, um, we have, it's a human review process. So two reviewers are assigned to that particular event and um, the reviewers go through, we have a checklist that the reviewers go through these different events and, um, you know, give their feedback. And we have a board that collates um, the, the results and gives a badge. We have um, different badge levels, the gold badge, the silver badge, the diamond badge as well, and also like a pending badge, depending on how the process went through. And we also have the, and, and this project has been growing over the years since 2020. I am so happy that I, I am part of this um, project. And over time, we have been able to give recommendations to, you know, open source events on how to, um, you know, Center DEI, even in their website, you know, inform people about their code of conduct, give like um, recommendations to them. Project badging is, um, you know, in the works already. It's, um, and we are going to launch that soon. And, you know, project badging is also using the same, the same model of, you know, projects, open source projects applying to um, the chaos projects to, you know, get a badge uh, and, you know, we go through the process and ensure that the project, the project, you know, fosters diversity, equity, and inclusion. Another project that um, is really that has been coming up um, lately in the DI working group is the diversity interview project. So this is an interview campaign we are going to be um, doing with the underrepresented groups in open source. And shout out to Anita for you know leading this work. So what we are going to the focus here on this interview project is to um, you know interview and hear the perspective of different underrepresented groups in open source on how our metrics are being are useful or how we can you know 
shape our metrics to speak to them get feedback about our metrics and i'm i'm proud to say that in the chaos project we are always looking for ways to improve on our existing metrics and we always um you know ask for feedback another um this is not a project but this is um a team that you know um was sponsored is sponsored by the ford foundation and it started last year in 2021 which i am also a part of this team you see i care about diversity equity and inclusion so much so yeah kudos to me um but yeah like i'm also a part of this awesome team um what we do here is we we have been looking at we embarked on a journey um in 2021 to go through our processes you know our um, to go through um, the chaos group in general, to audit the chaos group, look at our DI processes and how we can, you know, improve on how we can, even with our improvements, how we can also teach other communities and from our learnings, other communities can learn how to, you know, improve DI in their open source projects. If you check the um, chaos community um, blog, we have a detailed um, blog post that, you know, speaks to this work and we hope to share more of our learnings with you in the future. Also, another part is of the chaos project that, you know, even came out of the recommendation, one of the recommendations from the DEI audit um, team is, you know, opening up local chapters and which I am uh, one of the community leads of the um, of Chaos Africa. And this um, started from, we we recently had a lot of, we had um, as of, I think during the outreach, the first, um, first, um, outreach at the start of the year, uh, we had a lot of um, applicants from Africa and we thought about, you know, creating a local chapter, creating local chapters, you know, with the Chaos Project. We also have presence in Asia Pacific um, community. So we created, um, we created the um, local chapters and over, over the period of three months, um, I must tell you that there has been a very good um, engagement from the African open source community, um, you know, contributing because then you get to you get to be with you get to be in a group of people that um, you share the same background with, you share the same the same culture with, and we get to op we get to collaborate more, we get to um, you know build more projects and participate in the larger group. So the main focus of the Chaos Africa group is, you know, finding challenges, you know, we are looking at challenges that African open source contributors face and how we can, you know, solve those challenges with the different metrics we have created in um, Chaos Africa and um, Chaos in general. So if you are interested in, um, you know, using our metrics, you should definitely use it. Um, you can check out, you can go to chaos.community slash metrics, and you can also go to chaos.community slash participate to, um, you know, find out more, give feedback, you can participate in our different meetings, um, our different uh, meetings and give feedback on our metrics. Another important um, thing I want to bring up is, you know, how can you, what are the different things that you can do personally, even in your, in your, in your own corner, in your community, you should start that conversation about diversity, equity, and inclusion. Some weeks back, I had a conversation with um, a friend and where that conversation stemmed from, you know, talking about how different countries have, uh, are in different phases in with DEI, you know, um, speaking from the African perspective, some countries um, have still have laws that, you know, bind against um, diversity, um, equity and inclusion relating to gender. So different people from different communities do not know, do not know um, some issues as regards DEI. But the important thing is, you know, starting that conversation, you know, teaching others, carrying others along, removing that um, telling people um, where we're ensuring that we ca carry out these um, intentional conversations, keep bringing up that, those efforts, you know, keep finding ways to improve DEI, keep finding ways to include others, ask questions, um, you know, carry others along in the conversation. Let's keep talking about it till we get there. I'm so, I'm so excited that I got to give this talk and thank you so much for listening and you can connect with me at um, Ruti Kega. I'm definitely down to talk to you about chaos africa or about opening up local chapters i'm definitely down to talking about community management you know you can reach out to me on on um 
LinkedIn, on um, Twitter. Um, I'm also Ruth Ikega on the virtual platform as well. I am definitely love to chat with you and let you, um, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.